All right, guys, Gemini, back with another video, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And uh, it's it's the life when you're Gemini 8 at 8, and you basically revolve your YouTube channel around uh, pro wrestling DVDs. Um, you get hit with questions from all over the globe. Jam, what DVD should I get? Jam, is this good? Jam, is that good? Jam, I picked this up. So uh, pictures are constantly rolling in on uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube. And uh, I love all that stuff. So keep the questions coming. Thank you for the support on the channel. Now, one of the um, most frequent questions I get here on YouTube is they say, Hey, Jim, uh, I'm going to start collecting WWE DVDs. Where would be a good starting point? Now, uh, that question is, is, is valid. And I will say this. It, it depends on your genre of uh, what style of wrestling you like. Are you really into the current product? Are you into the past product? Are you into just having a lot to say you have a collection? Um, what, what style of wrestling do you like? Uh, do you like wrestling DVDs with Stone Cold Steve Austin? Do you like wrestling DVDs with The Rock? So it's kind of a vague question. So I thought I'd come on camera and uh, clarify for you guys. For me, the best year to collect uh, pro wrestling DVDs was 2006. In 2006, they came out with 32 um, WWE DVDs. It's un unmatched, untouched. That was the biggest year in uh, WWE DVD history was 2006. They just exploded, 32. Um, this year, I count 26. So even present day, they've slowed down on their uh, WWE uh, DVDs. I mean, in 2005, they had a lot, 24. But in, in 2006, uh, 32 DVDs was, was their, their all-time high. So not only 32 DVDs, but 32 good DVDs. Well, maybe not all of them. We'll take a look at uh, 2006 here in just a second. So my recommendation to you, if you're going to start at any point where you start building a pro wrestling DVD collection, I would say start at, with uh, 2006 because... Most of these were quality, and there's a lot of them. So you can get a really big collection, and you can get some awesome footage in the process. Let's take a look at 2006, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Thank you. Now see, now 2006 doesn't just stop here, because these shelves are, are 20 deep. You know, it extends all the way over here. But if you want to start a DVD collection, and you want to get things cooking, you're brand new to the game, um, I mean, look at some of the stuff that came out in uh, 2006. Just historic uh, stuff. And one of the cool things about owning WWE DVDs is you could learn about the history of the sport. I feel like I've picked up so much knowledge. Like, for instance, on AWA, I feel like I picked up just a ton of knowledge of AWA stories that I might have not ever known before. I mean, Vengeance was quality. Survivor Series was quality in Philadelphia. You know, when uh, Batista won the belt from uh, Booker T, even though they didn't get along in real life. Okay, you can learn about ECW. The McMahon DVD is great. This is a DVD you could pop in with your friends anytime. Just enjoy the hell out of it. I mean, we had Divas, No Way Out with Kurt Angle and The Undertaker, the Royal Rumble with the kind of the unique uh, Roman theme behind it. I mean, here's a stinker for 2006. A New Year's Revolution, when Cena lost to Edge, you know, you had Rowdy Piper, you know, the Hulk Hogan one, not the biggest fan. Uh, I mean, you had Brian Pillman and Dusty Rhodes. Um, it was a quality uh, year. Like I said, it might not look like these are 20 deep, you know, straight across. But, yeah, 2006 would be, you know what, in the 2006, it's got to be somewhere else, too, because I'm not, yeah, there's SummerSlam. That Degeneration X, you're going to want the VHS tape on that. Uh, Dusty Rhodes. Um, you'll learn a lot about them. It's not the most exciting DVD. A lot of old grainy matches. And then this one is a sentimental favorite as well. ECW One Night Stand. Just the way they just booed John Cena. It was crazy in New York. They were ready to kill him. Unforgiven with Edge and Cena was uh, tremendous. So we'll wrap this up here in just a second and uh, get going um, on what is the best year to collect DVDs. 
Not that we haven't been going. Dumbass jam. Yeah, you know, some people are going to look at, uh, you know, 2006 and, and, and kind of take it as a money grab. Like, uh, oh, well, they were just trying to get money. They were just trying, well, obviously they were trying to get money. But at the same time, in 2006, the fans got treated to 32 pretty high-quality DVDs. I mean, back then in 2006, these weren't necessarily about, like, a lot of the backstage stuff that they do today. They pretty much would show where the wrestler was born, and then they would, uh, you know, profile his career, and they'd have other wrestlers talk about him. A lot of the DVDs you see today, like, for instance, when Eric Bischoff comes out next June, will be, um, you know, a lot of, like, backstage stuff. Maybe not so much Eric Bischoff, but, like, Daniel Bryan. That DVD was all about his backstage stuff at WrestleMania 30. Back then, like, Roddy Piper, you know, born in controversy. Um, in 2006, you know, you get to go to his house. You know, you get to hear other wrestlers interviewed on him. So, uh... And it, it was quality. Brian Pillman was quality, even though it was short. So, my recommendation, my starting point for you would definitely be 2006. 32 DVDs, pretty high quality. Uh, 2006 was the peak for pro wrestling DVDs. It, it never got any higher. You never got any more footage. You never got to learn any more than you did in 2006 from the WWE. You never got to learn any more. They never made more, um, even though... They've had some really big years. They came out with a lot of DVDs in like 2014, you know, 2015, you know, 26. I mean, which isn't far off from 32, you know, six off. But as far as quality, as far as quantity, uh, that 2006 was the peak for uh, pro wrestling DVDs, WWE DVDs. So you guys leave your comments below and uh, let me know what you think and what was your favorite year to collect DVDs. Mine, 2006, without question, a huge year. Gemini, thank you for listening.